I just don't get it. I mean, shit, I'm livid. I've had my share of bad days, but I never let the chopper spray. This ain't no for debate. Stop Asian hate. It's Bar for Bar Weekly for the week of March 19th, 2021. There's a bunch of random stuff to go through, so let's get into it. First things first. Remember how Hasbro bought Death Row Records sometime last year, I think it was? So they're finally doing something with that acquisition. And it's actually not toy related. So they're re-releasing four classic albums on cassette tape. Uh, the four albums being The Chronic, Doggy Style, All Eyes on Me, and The Don Illuminati, Seven Day Theory. And yeah, they're they're just re-releasing them. Moving on. The weekend announced earlier this week that House of Balloons, his I believe it was his debut mixtape, which he performed a few songs from at the Super Bowl, is gonna be going to streaming this Sunday. So March 21st, I believe it is. And it's going to be with all of its original samples and mixes. So that's awesome. I'm excited for that. It's been a minute since I heard the original version. In other news, the versus battle is happening tomorrow. Ghostface Kill and Raekwon. Let me know who you got in the comments below. The Grammys also happened this past weekend. So some notable awards, at least relevant to the hip hop space. Uh, best rap album was King's Disease. Best rap performance was from Megan Thee Stallion and Beyonce for Savage. Best melodic rap performance was Anderson Pack's Lockdown. Best rap song, again, was Megan Thee Stallion and Beyonce for Savage. Song of the Year was Hers, I Can't Breathe. And best R&B performance was from Beyonce for Black Parade. And with that, uh, Beyonce broke the record for the most Grammy wins by a female artist, which is great. And the final noteworthy award is Best New Artist, which is Megan Thee Stallion. And now into some random bits of news. Skepta announced yesterday, I believe it was, that he is retiring from rap and that all the music that you've heard from him this year has been recorded last year. So he hasn't recorded anything new this year. People retire, retire from rap all the time. So we'll see what he means. He'll probably be back. But I mean, who knows? He might end up like Joe Budden and actually really retire. And I guess the final bit of news this week is just some random news again. Uh, somehow the internet got some information about Kanye. Uh, this information is that his net worth was $6.6 .6 billion, making him the richest black man, which is great if it was actually the case. Well, at least that's what Forbes thinks. So Forbes was like, nah, 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 nah. He is actually worth $1.8 To be fair, though, Forbes has kind of been on Kanye <laughs> since, I think, last year, where I think... Kanye was saying that they were undervaluing him, something like that. It's whatever. Kanye's got money. It's very different from the 6.6 .6 billion that people are saying that he's worth. But you know, it is what it is. And with that, we have music releases for this week. So first, Troy LLF dropped Free Play 4. Now, he technically dropped this at the top of the year but it was only direct to consumer. Now it's available on streaming everywhere. So definitely go check it out and also check out the review and conversation I had with them as well. Guapdat 4000 dropped uh, 1176 with Ill Mind. Joyce Wright dropped Overgrown. Code of the Friend and Static Selector dropped To Kill a Sunrise. Mayday dropped Minute to Midnight. Benny the Butcher and Harry Fraud dropped The Plugs I Met Too. Pink Sifu and Fly Anakin dropped Smoke Break. And then there's a bunch of singles too, and stuff like that. So Saba dropped Ziploc and Rich Don't Stop. IDK dropped Just Like Martin. Uh, Aesop Rock dropped Long Legged Larry. There's just a lot of music this week. So I'm sure I'm going to miss something. With all that said, though, let me know in the comments below if I missed anything newsworthy or music I should check out. 
Also, remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Thank you for watching, and please stay safe out there.